find out why the H5 is not working. There we go, it just needed a second. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are getting the fibrific. It's happening. Okay, so it looks like I could be live. Hang on a second. Let me just go to there. I don't know what's going on. Let me just pop this chat up and you guys can tell me if you can see what's going on. I've lost the live chat. So I am live, so that's good. Um, I've lost the chat. Hang on a second. There it is. There it is. Okay. I'm just going to kill this screen because it used up all my bandwidth. I have my chat. I have you guys. Hi everybody, sorry about that. I don't know what was going on. I'm just going to do something with my phone here because for some reason you guys can see me but I can't see me and I don't like that because I like to be able to see what's going on. Um, well, I have an ad so that's always a plus. Good morning everybody in the chat. Sorry about that. I've been, um, this morning has been a little bit, I don't know how to describe this morning. It's just I don't know, I just haven't felt in the groove is really all it's coming down to. So um, I've got the spinning wheel out again today now. I apologize for all the sort of backgroundy stuff that you can see. Um, there was a few people who wanted to be able to see my hands more. The only way that I know how to do that without showing everything that's on that wall, which I don't want to show because that's an entire workbench area and it is not pretty. Um, is to lift it up higher, which means you see the legs of all the stands and everything like that. So, um, sorry about that. And it also means that the, the camera that shoots it all is in shot. So, lots of stuff. <laughs> lots of stuff. Um, today's discussion is about how, it, how I try to catch up um, with all of the... You know, like I was, I was pretty sick for a week. Um, my blood pressure was really low, so just moving around even was awkward. And so yes, yeah, so that was it. Was not fun for me for a um, for about a for about a week. And so I got behind. I basically I got all my orders out, but that's all I really got done. I didn't really get anything else done because I didn't just have the I just didn't have the brain power or the my throat felt like I'd swallowed barbed wire and it was and it was all look it was all bad anyway so I am just trying to sort of catch up this week and I first thing I wanted to say other than everything else I've just said is thank you to all of you who joined into the uh, Facebook event group discussion -y thing I don't know how to um, describe whatever that was that we had but it was awesome it was so good i felt so rotten but you guys made me like lifted my spirits something really fierce just by just messaging and and like chatting to each other in the in the threads and stuff and it was a lot of fun so it was a really good sort of second place that we could have um to do all the things we've got lots of people in the chat who haven't been in for a while so hey cottage keeper it's been ages and oreo it got in on time and lots of people just hanging out here in the chat don't forget to hit that thumbs up you guys and share so there's a there's a spot where you can click share and you can share this out to all of your friends who you think might enjoy our chat as well so they can get in on the on the shenanigans in the live chat so that would be heaps of fun hey Daigo how are you going um so well actually Oreo I think all the messages are still there so you can still read everything and see how it sort of you know looks and stuff like that so um so I and so like how I cope with trying to catch up with everything is cast on new projects it's so silly it's so ridiculous but i just i needed a project that wasn't massive that wasn't just really um it wasn't really huge or like a major brain effort and use stuff in my stash that i could find really easily which if you've seen my stash that's an issue Daigo, I uh, yes, I because um, Daigo is new to the group, you guys, so be nice, and it is, um, and I appreciate you waiting for that ad to finish. I really do. Um, 
Daigo uh, ha- and I have conversed over when I'm moderating for um, Bob Wilson 123 on her YouTube live. So, um, or her whatever live that she's doing. She does so much live stuff. It's great. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so, welcome to Daigo. Funnily enough, Daigo, that you mentioned Bob Wilson 123 because the project that I chose that was my brain easy project was actually um, Claire's new uh, bag. It's the cross stitch market bag. So I'll just hold it down here. Um, Oh, that's my bag because there's, you know, there's my joint I've got to, I've got to weave in. Now Claire used some beautiful um, variegated yarn. I don't have anything like that in, in a, um, in an acrylic. I have, uh, what have I got? I've got knit picks. Knit Picks Brava Worsted that I've got here. I just need to move this chat a little bit because I can only see half my screen. There we go. So I've got the Knit Picks Brava Worsted. Um, and for an acrylic, I actually really like it. It's nice and soft. Um, I, You know, it's a little hit and miss sometimes. I have had to cut some little bits out that are a bit fluffy or really thick or, or whatever. But, um, but yeah, so it's, but it's cheap. So you know what I mean? Like... You can't have top quality and cheap together. Just, like Top quality is expensive and you have to pay for it. Um, so, you know, you can't have it all. But the, I love the colours. There's so many colours available in this Knit Picks Brava Worsted. Now, because I didn't have the um, the nice, beautiful colour grade and, and my brain hurt and I couldn't be bothered making up my own stripe pattern, I hit a website um called biscuitsandjam.com and it's got a stripe generator so you can literally just click okay i've got this color or this color and this color and this color and then i need like x amount of stripes and um and it print it brings you up a picture of what you've got and so i've just sort of written down what the stripe generator um uh put up for me so if, if i don't know is kim there kim do you think you could pop in biscuitsandjam.com a link for that that would be really helpful um so yeah so um i'm just gonna have a quick scroll um because you guys are going hardcore and i'm missing heaps of comments and i hate it when i miss the comments um cottage keeper says i'm half done with the find your facial and have lost motivation and a little bit of the will to live I can understand that those find your facials are enormous. That's a massive undertaking. I'm doing um, Addy Day Designs blur shawl, and I'm having to take little breaks as well because it's another big one. It's a big, it's a big shawl. Um, so uh, yeah, cottage keeper. I would say grab another small project, maybe this bag. Um, Kim has a little sick boy at home today. Not sure how sick he is. He's currently climbing all over his cubby house. Yeah, I had a sick girl home from school last. Oh, was it? It might have been Monday. Was it Monday? It might have been Friday. Same deal. I'm like, hmm, how sick were you really? Because you were like dying. Um, uh, someone saw the Facebook feed this morning. It does look like it has a nice sheen. It's lovely. It has a really nice sheen. I don't know. The, uh, it's, it's being blinded by all the lighting I have set up in here. Let's see if this one works better. It is. It's got a lovely sheen to it. It's soft. It's. I like it, and it doesn't squeak. I hate yarn that squeaks. I will not use yarn that squeaks. Stacy's using knit picks from the stash as well. Daigo's in Texas, you guys, and Crochet Clock is in New Mexico. Um, Dido is in the in the house as well. Is in Canberra. Dido, are you going to that amazing looking? Um, in Canberra this weekend, there's a wool expo on, and I'm so jealous. Like to the point where last night. I kid you not, I was on Virgin's website working out if I could like just book a ticket to Canberra for the weekend. It felt so stupid, but I'm like, no, 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 I need to check this out. You just need to like completely know that it's beyond. Um, there is a weighted version you can use if there are different quantities of colors to, oh, there you go. I didn't know that. Um, Gamer Widows is currently losing the will to live while making a blanket in acrylic at the moment. I'm reminding myself that once it's over, I can go back to the nice stuff. Yeah, not all acrylics are created equal. That, that's that's for certain. It's just like wool. Not all wool is created equal either. Um, do I have any recommendations for silk merino yarn? I've never knit with it before. 
Um, I use a lot of silk merino lace weight, so I use it for a lot of a lot of different projects. Um, Earl Grey Crochet, hey, how are you going? Um, Earl Grey Crochet is sick today at home. Oh no, that's terrible. Um, hoping to see Claire Teresa. I don't know what Claire Teresa is. Oh my God. What's from Australia? I don't know what you mean, crochet o'clock. Um, oh, for the weekend, yeah. Go for the weekend, for sure. <laughs> I'm not going to do it, Jackie. I thought, okay, I could ring Jackie and find out how far away the airport is from all these things to work out if I needed to hire a car and all that sort of stuff. And I was just like, okay, I could do this. I could do this. And then I looked at the airfares and I'm like, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't I can't justify like spending the money for a weekend just to go and hang out with friends and and like it because you know it's one of those things. It's like last minute flights are not cheap. They're the really expensive ones, and I'm like, oh no, maybe not. Um you said you were going to book a ticket for the no no not to Canada, to Canberra. Um Canberra is like three hour flight from here. Um yeah, must be something going around. I'm in bed, not feeling well. Oh, I'm so sorry to read that, Sally. I totally understand how you feel. I hope you have some craft. Hey, Heather. He Heather's in the house from England. Heather, how is England? Like, are you in? Are you near London? Because, like, what I'm seeing on the news at the moment with the royal wedding coming up, it looks insane. Um, Jackie says, five minutes, I'll pick you up. You stay with me in the market's a kilometre from my house. You must come. <laughs> Oh, Jackie, I am totally tempted. Don't, don't, don't even go there. Don't even. Um, Kim says, I flew to Melbourne, hired a car and drove to Bendigo and back and then flew home all in the same day. Kim, you are hardcore, chick. You totally are. I, I don't know. If, I'm, I don't know if I could do it. I would, for a start, I would be shattered because I'm not real good with the whole flying. For me, it's not, it's not about the actual flying. I'm okay once I'm in the air. I am totally freaked out that I'm going to miss my plane. Um, good evening to Freaky Geek. It's, uh, it's 10.13 in the morning. We've only been running for about 10 minutes. Hi, Jenny Bergensen from Sweden. Wow, we've got so many people like from all over the shop today. That's brilliant. Um, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you've not been here before, please consider subscribing. That would be great. Um, so where are we? Um, someone needs to fire Mr. Autocorrect. Yes. Yes. Someone totally does need to fire Mr. Autocorrect. How is my knee doing? My knee is doing actually okay. Um, it's... Yeah, I've, I'm trying out lots of different sort of therapeutic things at the moment because there's a muscle or tendon or something pulling on it and it's being naughty. And so we were like taping my feet. And it, anyway, it felt so weird, but I actually think it works. So um, that's going to be interesting when I let the physio know that I think that's working. Um, but yeah, like the things around my knee hurt, but my actual knee doesn't hurt, which is such a nice change. Um, Kim says, I also organized a yarn crawl, six yarn stores in a day and had a girlfriend from Sydney join up. That is fantastic. Canada here, it's quarter past eight from Freaky Geek. Thank you so much for joining in. Those of you that are, are on less than stellar time zones. Claire, uh, Kim says, smash that like button an, even, an uneven number of times because it's a toggle. Good point. Good point. Um... Heather says, I'm half an hour away from London. London is always insane, but it's a lot worse at the moment. Never go to London if I can, uh, if I can help. I love staying in my nice little town of Church Crookham. There you go. Your fluff is distracting me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, my fluff. Is it, is it swinging in the breeze, is it? I'm sorry. I'm going to spin in a second. Um, Andrea has, oh, super chat from Andrea for my airbed and camera or for coffee. <laughs> that's brilliant Andrea thank you so much <laughs> oh dear okay oh that's brilliant Heather Pendergrass says it's 10 15 uh 1 15 a.m you're in like what are you doing awake I'm so glad you're here with us but that's insane how's the mystery lace club are you ready for the Maybox I totally am um uh, considering that, you know, as usual, there seems to be a week of the month that I don't get to use for Mystery Lace Club because I get sick 
or something happens. Um, but yeah, everything. I look. I'm, I'm looking over there because there's like 25 skeins of a mystery lace. Oh, I'm like doing it out of shot. Mystery lace club yarn just swinging in the breeze over there. So you can't see it, but I can see it. I'm really happy with the color. Um, Jenny says it's 2:14 a.m. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, I hope that um, we can keep you awake or not. I don't know. I don't know what you would rather. Um, where are we? Leone says, I'm off to gathering threads on Sunday, an informal gathering of artists and handcrafters who put on, put on by Textile Arts Gippsland in the Sale Library. Oh, my gosh. That sounds fantastic, Leone. Um, M Man is crocheting plan for the first time. You know, I've actually never crocheted plan. I've made plan. And so I have some in my stash, but I've never crocheted with it. I've worn, oh, when I was younger, um, a friend of mine's grandmother made me a hat out of plan bread bags. So it was all these different bread bags. It was so weird, but I loved it. It was my drinking hat because I was young and stupid, and that's what you do. Um, where a crochet... Uh, why not a trip to Canberra for coffee? Well, I'm sure they sell coffee in Canberra. Um, do a really quick pan. No. Actually, I don't even think if I panned that you would see it because just because of the angles of the of the office doors here, I think you would still miss it. <laughs> so even if I accidentally like knock over a tripod, which as we know, totally can happen. Um, have you banned Kim from the shop since you started the Mystery Lace Club? You've always got stuff there that we can't see. Look, Kim Kim is very good and does tend to only come in after the Mystery Lace Club boxes are packed. And and I think it's great. And I also make it so that, you know, there's nothing that you can see if all the, if I'm not here, you can't see anything from outside as well. So that's really good. Um, Rebecca says it's 717 where she is. Oh, Julie Wright. Hi, welcome to the chat, Julie. It's so good to see you guys. Um, Kim's being cheeky again. Look, seriously, for those of you that are new, you might as well just adjust to Kim being cheeky because it's just what she is. She's an awesome, awesome cheeky lady and I love it. Um, Jackie says there's very good coffee just up the road from her in Canberra, which is two states away for those of you that don't know um, the Australian ge geography. So that's the word, isn't it? Geography. Um, get your surprise giant surprise box. I have not yet Oreo. Uh, like I'm I, you now it's a giant box. My gosh, every time we you met, talk about it, it's I get more details and I'm terrified now. Um, Cottage Keeper wants to know if anyone has died with avocados and she would love some advice. I personally have not. So if someone has, please let let um, Cottage Keeper know. A friend of mine made plant bags, but she bought plastic bags specifically for the project so she could do the colour she wanted. I asked it, asked if that defeated the purpose of recycling the bags if you buy. I think it does. I think it needs to be something you already have. Like, that's what I think. Eating dinner and watching. Hey, Tyra, it's been ages since I've seen your name. So what am I working on? So while I was sick, while I was last Thursday, I started working on a... Um, a dragon scales cow from the fibery fit like it's one of my one of my designs so um there's a there's a video in the playlist called Gra crochet Gra dragons Blech. hang on that's it's talking too fast too much hang on okay i'll try again <laughs> so last week when i was sick and we were doing the um event in facebook i was crocheting the dragon scales cow i finished that off I ran out of yarn just before I finished weaving in all the ends. So I've got to find some, not weaving in the ends, but like stitching up the side here. So I've got to just find some um, contrasting yarn, or sorry, some, some non-contrasting yarn. But this is beautiful Zen Garden. I think it was called Mystic Ocean. And the colors are just divine. I love it so much. I'll totally be wearing this to Bendigo. It's a bit dark here to see it. So I'm just gonna bring it up here. Um, that's where I still need to finish joining it up. But I'm really happy with how it came out. It's totally squishy. Um, yes, articulating today is, is it, it seems to be an issue. It seems to be an issue. Um, if you don't eat avocados, you'll never die. Uh, freaky Geek, you guys, okay, top tip for Freaky Geek. Freaky Geek tells dad jokes all the time. It cracks me up. I love dad jokes. 
Um, why did I agree to make this horrible group blanket? Oh, well, see now, Fibrific Fun Zone, go over there. Please, please, please post a photo. I'd love to see where you're up to with it. Um, Game of Widows, that would be awesome. And yeah, I agree. I think it's because Groot is awesome. It's a it's a raffle prize for the fundraiser for your scouts. Wow. It's 10 times awesome while still small in size. Okay, you guys. So I've been torturing you here with this for quite some time now. I'm just going to move the chat over to this side a little. Let's Can I still see everything? Um, what I'm working on here... I'm still doing the pixie tops. I'll just hold this up to the camera here. You cannot read it because it white. It just goes. <laughs> um, pixie tops are an Irish sheep breed blend from Ixchel Bunny at ixchelbunny.blogspot.com. Um, it's got Kerry Hill sheep, Angora Bunny, Cashmere, and Tensile. And it is such. Sorry, I, I stick my things so that I don't forget what I'm spinning because I forget what I'm spinning. Um, and so, yeah, now I'm not sure how we're gonna go here with me, um, you know, spinning and chatting at the same time, but you know, we can try, we can see how it goes. Um, how do you plan to ply it? Look, I'm probably going to um, Navajo ply it. I've been trying to go quite thin. Um, so it's currently at a nice sort of I would say it's at a good medium lace weight and like if I was to two ply it would make a great lace weight and if I three ply it it's going to make quite a, a decent sock weight and I think this would have some strength to it for socks but I'll see how I go because sometimes I just I don't decide these things until I'm doing it. Um, good morning Joss, welcome to the chat, it's been ages since we've seen you. Um, I managed to move from bed to the couch in front of the heater with the mocha. Nice job, Sally. Nice job. Um, Tyrus says, that's your favourite way. Is that the Navajo ply? Because mine too. I love Navajo ply. Um, but if I'm knitting lace weight, I really do want a nice flat two ply. It makes the lace stand out more. Um, I can't tell when you need to move the thingy on the bobbin. That's all right. I can actually see better today, so I won't be yelling at you so much for not telling me to move the thingy on the bobbin. Because <laughs> it's, yeah, it's that little bit further away because someone, um, I'm sorry, I cannot remember who it was, but I did get asked by uh, one person in the comments and another couple of private messages to show my drafting zone. And the drafting zone is what's basically in my hands um, because the ticker down the bottom was covering it. Um, my wrist just went crazy. Um, my wrist, this vibrates when I get messages on my phone. Um, Freaky Geek, the things on things when at a tender age of mine, I have no idea what that means. Uh, Julie says, I like watching you do the spinning. I wish I had your talent. Julie, you know what? I didn't have this talent 10 years ago. I learned it. I went to a local spinning guild. And I had no idea what I was doing. I rented a wheel from them for really expensive. I think it was like two bucks a week or something. And um, I, I just wanted to know how yarn was made because I was a cro I crocheted a lot then, and I was frustrated with the the yarns available. Everyone was dying, like all the hand dyes were dying for knitters, and it was all in those little sort of short rows, like the little short color repeats. That if you're a crochet, you know, they do not work for crochet. They look dreadful. You end up with like stitches in one color. And anyway, I don't like it that. Um, and then I, I just really wanted to learn how to make yarn. And so I started learning how to spin. And um, my first yarn was not good, let's just say that. But I end up finding that I do have a, a prof like I this is my um, this is my standard spin this is where I go automatically if I need if I want a different kind of yarn I really have to think about it a lot because when I'm not watching what I'm doing this is just what my hands automatically do um, Jackie says Dan made an awesome map showing how close everything is to post in the comments oh, I'm sorry Jackie yeah you're gonna have to chuck it in the fibrific fun zone because um, only Kim and other spanner wielders can post links in here. Um, 
what do you make from your hand spun? Asked Jennifer P. Um, lots of stuff, really. I tend to make a lot of socks, lace, because I, I spin a lot of lace, so I use it for lace shawls, scarves. Um, I haven't actually made a hand spun hat yet, which I tell, actually, no, I tell a fat lie. I made my daughter a hand spun hat. I had some really thick, um, I spun a really thick single in some, it would have just been some merino or something that was dyed in like colors that she would love. And so I made her a hat, which she never, ever, ever wore, because uh, apparently it was too babyish and didn't have some sort of logo on it. So therefore she could not wear it, which, you know, she went to a ski trip and was like, my head was so cold. And I'm like, yeah, I sent you three beanies. Um, so yeah, so I make all sorts of stuff. I use hand spun for everything. I like to weave with hand spun. I like to knit with it. I like to crochet with it. It just depends on how the colors come out um, once it's plied because it's the same deal like when you're crocheting you don't want the color like the weird color blocking that happens and and stuff like that so um, where are we I'm just sorry I'm just having a quick read of here Jackie says uh, Sally, uh, Sally says Jackie post it in the fun zone can you send it to Kim to share uh, maps are fun to read if you think you know if you think you know how to read yeah um, no, you can't post images, you have to post a link. Um, so that's why I chuck it over in the Fiberific Fun Zone and we can all look at it later. Um, I'm looking for inspiration and my hand spun stash seems to be getting bigger. Look, I, I will, my hand spun stash is, is well big. Like, I have to think about it. But what I love to do is I love to weave um, like squishy um, scarves. So I warp with one and weft with the other. And so even two colors that are completely insane, when you weave them together like that, just straight up and down, nothing fancy, um, just on a rigid heddle. They look so cute and it's so squishy. And you know you made all that yarn. It's fantastic. Um, Freaky Geek is slowly creating a yarn stash. Welcome to the group, Freaky Geek. You've got to have a stash, I reckon. Um, Stacy says I've made 10 hand spun beanies for the Alice Spring Beanie Festival this year. I love that festival. The stuff that goes in it is so cool. Um, Jennifer, the bigger your stash, the larger your project. Exactly right, because you can always find something. Although in saying that, I quite often still have to buy things because I'm like, I don't have what I need to make the thing I want to make. Um, Rebecca didn't catch any fish today by the river. I'm sorry to hear that, Rebecca. Do you typically wash your knits? What, oh, what do you typically wash your knits? I am a Tantec user. Um, I always wash my knits in Tantec Delicate Wash. And I actually do, um, wash all the hand dyed yarn in it as well before I scan it up, before it sits here. Um, I really love the Tantec Delicate Wash. It's because like, as you guys who've watched a while know, I'm like allergic to the entire world. And so a lot of those um, washes like soak and and things like that, I can't use. And so I love Tantec because they're local to me. They're a local Australian, a local small Queensland company, which I love. And for, um, for those of you that know, I really do try to support other small businesses as well. And they make it just, they just make a great product, honestly. I really love the smell of it. It doesn't affect my breathing. It doesn't mess with my asthma doesn't mess with my skin so it's a win-win for me um, and also like even though it's like all this stuff is sitting here you can't really like you can smell the barest hint of it it's not at all overpowering I've bought yarn before where people have washed it in I don't know what but I've gotten it into the car and been thinking oh my god what does that smell and realized it was the bag of yarn um, it was just too much it was just too much for me um, uh, map is in the fun zone a link to the market details for those who can make it that market looks so good I just I desperately would love to go I wish I had thought about it sooner and I would have planned it in better um, was there a certain essential oil used for hand washing um, I don't know but I certainly wouldn't want any sort of potency of any any smell I don't I like everything to have a neutral smell like like I would go unscented if I could. Um, I thought one just washed wool with Dawn dish soap. Look, some people do. Dawn dish soap's not readily available in Australia. You can get it, but it's a bit of a pain. 
Um, and but I've I've always got like in Australia you can buy a, a, a wool wash, which is a eucalyptus wool wash from the supermarkets. I don't like that one; it's too strong. Um, but yeah, I I just tend to go with just some Tantec. Um, Oreo says, well, I've recently discovered I'm no longer allergic to wool. Hang on a second. I've got to read the rest of that message. Um, my stash has tripled. That's fantastic news, Oreo. Um, Dye Dye says, I've been washing all my hand knits, handmade items in shampoo and conditioner like Bob Wilson showed us. Yeah, look, you can totally do that as well. Especially, like, an, as, if you're going to be, like, if you're washing your handmaids and they're um, acrylic based, you need different stuff than when you're using washing wool. Um, it's sort of like the difference, like if you've got a Barbie doll, like I've got a daughter, so if you've got a Barbie doll whose hair is a mess, you don't wash that with shampoo and conditioner, you hit it with dish soap and it's fantastic. It, it detangles it like you wouldn't believe. Um, Kim says Jet Star doesn't fly to Canberra. No, it does not, I don't believe. Although it might go Gold Coast to Canberra rather than Brisbane to Canberra. And don't forget, um, I don't. I can't remember exactly your location, Kim, in relation to mine, but I'm right in the middle of the Gold Coast Airport or the Brisbane Airport, so I just go to whichever's got the cheapest flights. <laughs> um, where are we go? Freaky says, Oreo, I'm allergic to 100%, so I have to find something else that feels more like silk. Yeah, I like silk. Sil silk is good. Is Canberra too far for a road trip? Yeah, it totally is. Look, it's it's too far for a road trip at this late stage. When I drive to Bendigo, Bendigo is actually it is actually quite a bit further. Um, but because I plan for it, uh, whereas I think what would it be? It would be about what 14, 15 hours drive to Canberra from Brisbane, I think. That's just off the top of my head. Um, where are we going? I made my own recipe I found online. Is that for a, a, a wool wash, Game of Widows? Um, Tiger do and um, Virgin do. I love Virgin. I fly Virgin whenever I can. I really prefer them. Um, Gamer, will you share your info on Facebook? There you go. I think they want your recipe, Game of Widows. Um, Julie says, I'm told that flying to Sydney then getting the bus from the airport to Canberra is cost effective. Yeah, probably. Like, you can get really inexpensive flights to Sydney. But, like, I was looking and the best price I could get as of last night was about sort of $200 to $300 each way. And so, um, but you could probably pick up something much cheaper to Sydney. Look, you could even... Seriously, you could even go to Sydney and hire a car and it'll work out cheaper. Um, uh, Merino here as well, but dang, it's pricey stuff to play with. Look, it can be for sure, depending on where you get it from. I just got to grab some more fluff, you guys. So is this, um, can you guys see everything I'm doing okay here, just out of curiosity? Like, you know, I've gone to all this effort to make sure you can see more and like I'm like super conscious that you can see my fat tummy and I don't like that idea at all um <laughs> so as long as you can see my hands I'm okay um I think you should just do it you know you want to go look I know that's the thing I totally want to go I really do so badly but I yeah I don't think I will I got I've got too much to do to get ready for Redlands open day and to get ready for Bendigo. But next year, I'm totally gonna plan it in. It's gonna happen next year. Um, Camel and Silk Blend is magical, but expensive, but worth it. Oh, look, that's the thing, Oreo. Some blends are so expensive, but you just spin them fine, and 50 to 100 grams can make you something. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you just make it fine, then you can go harder on it. Um, I see fingers move and yarn creation. Excellent, that's what we want. We want fingers moving and yarn creation. I'm on a bit of an angle here, sorry. So it's normally um, this would be more like that and just be going straight in. But I'm just, because I've got like a camera here and a camera here, I'm kind of like twisting to, to do it all. Kim says she can't see my tummy, so that's great. Thank you. Um, catapult, tears flowing. I don't know what that means, Daigo, I'm sorry. Um, Oh, Kim, why would you? No, no. <laughs> no, not preggers, just fat. There's a difference. 
Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Um, but yeah, so I've been really enjoying this uh, project that I'm working on. And I was so tempted, like I promised last week that I'd do more spinning today, but I was so tempted just to work on my crochet bag that I've got here. Um, Kim, can you toss in a link um, to Bob Wilson's mark, uh, cross stitch market bag, it's called? If not, I'll, I'll grab it. But yeah, just if you can toss it into the chat, that would be great. Um, so yeah, oh dear. But um, it's one of those things, I'm just checking the camera shot. So you can't see too much of the mess around, just the table leg and, a, and the stand that the camera's on. So that's not too bad. Bob Wilson is in the house. Hey, Claire, <laughs> welcome to the chat. We were just talking about you. It's like, were your ears burning? <laughs> Oh dear. Um, Andrew's just stolen a Kit Kat from the kids. Oh my God, Andrew, you know they watch this, right? And I get messages from them. They totally know you stole their Kit Kat now. Um, that was good timing. Yeah, it was good timing. Sally says, I really want to finish my jumper, but I'm still waiting on my yarn to come. Oh, Sally, that's got to be frustrating. I'm thinking, did you order that yarn from me and I haven't shipped it? But no, I don't think so. Um, hey Claire, can you put in a link? Hey Claire, we need a, I was just actually asking for a link to your um, market bag because I'm going to show something again. You guys, I know I've already showed you, but Claire's just come in. So I'm going to pause the spinning rings. Claire, you know, yesterday when I was like, hey Claire, I can't find the link to the market bag. Um, it's because I've, I've started the market bag um, in these crazy, crazy colors. Um, in some nitpicks bra, what is it? Nitpicks bra, the worsted. Can't can't talk. Work words not working. Um, so I think I'm about, uh, you know, that's about, I'm about, you know, a third, a third of the way done. And so I'm just striping three colours, like these three. <sighs> Hang on, I'm just pulling them all in. There we go. Oh, get off. I'm just striping these three colours. They look really washed out here. They're not at all washed out. There, there you go. That's them there. They're really pretty colours. Um, I have a lot of Brava worsted because I'm technically in the middle of a blanket that is marinating. Um, so yeah, but I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's nitpicks. You're right. You're right, Kim. You're totally right. Um, mark a bag. Right click the link. Thank you. Thank you, Claire. Right click the link, you guys. Don't, you know, don't not right click the link. <laughs> um, sorry, I was just reading Kim's message and then Daigo's message to Kim, you guys. Um, have you ever heard that you can use cinnamon sticks to keep moss out of your wall? Any other ideas? Um, for me, I'm all about the cedar shavings or the cedar, cedar blocks. I like the cedar. I can't use mothballs or anything like that because of the allergies to the world. Um, so, you know, it's one of those things. Hey, does and can anyone tell me how many people we've got today? Because it just seems like there's lots of new faces in chat, that's all. Um, so if someone can just pop in how many people are watching, that would be cool. Um, but yeah, I'm all about the cedar balls. I'm allergic to lavender, which I've heard works, and I'm allergic to um, moth, like, uh, what's, that, what's, that, what's the word? The naphthalene, I can't deal with naphthalene. Um, so yeah, so, you know, so I'm all about the cedar, the cedar keeps them out. 24, 23 watching, thank you guys. 26 thumbs up, I like those odds. Yeah, they're not bad, are they? <laughs> um, I've got some lovely sandalwood shavings. Oh, that sounds gorgeous, Game of Widows. I never thought of sandalwood. Freaky Geek, sort of new. Yeah, you are, sort of. You've, you've been around a little bit, but you don't normally make it to the lives very often because of time zones. I'm so sorry about that. Um, 25 watching and 25 likes. You guys are awesome. Yep, the number jumped. So that's cool. Um, H and Tarmany. So you guys, what have you all got planned coming up over the next couple of days? Because I've got, I'm just thinking about what I've got. I've got caffeinated crafters tonight. And then tomorrow is Friday. And so um, we're going to have a Fiberifian chat in the Fiberific Fun Zone on Facebook. Um, I'll see if I can go live for that. It might be a bit of a productivity stream while I'm doing some other work. Um, but yeah, can totally, totally play with that. 
Um, and then Saturday, I really want to be in Canberra, but I'm not going to be, I don't think, unless, you know, you guys have got to go seriously hard on the Super Chats if I'm going to make it to Canberra. <laughs> not that I'm saying go hard on the Super Chats, I'm just saying. Um, where are we? Uh, a lovely wood turner gave them to you. That sounds beautiful. I've, should, I've got some people I can talk to about that. Um, Andrea's got chunks of Huon pine in hers. Oh, no, that's right. Freaky Geek, you've normally got darts, haven't you? Kim's Kim's new, if you consider every time I change my hair colour new. You're totally not new, Kim. You're part of the furniture here now. Canberra's going to be so boring, says Claire. Everyone knows you're lying, and that's a terrible lie. It's just a bad lie, because I know it's a lie, and it's going to be fantastic, and I'm going to be seeing all these pictures of people Instagram because I'll be, like, searching for it. Andrea can't make it tonight because she has got Taekwondo and then taking the dog to the vet. Oh, I hate the vet so much, but you know, when you got her, you got her. I'm just checking what I just did then because that was weird. Hang on, that just dropped out of the little, the little guide. There we go. We're good. We're good. Um, why do you keep ignoring my comments about the stream time? Oh, look, Crochet O'Clock gave an, a super chat. That's brilliant. Thank you so much, Crochet O'Clock. You're in, that's unbelievable. Thank you. Um, <laughs> all craft all day for days. Yeah, that sounds lovely. Sally would love to go to Canberra too. Um, <laughs> Bob Wilson says, okay, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> that's that's. Bob, uh, crochet clock, that's so generous. Thank you so much. That's wonderful. Um, for the yarn trip, because it's needed. <laughs> yarn trips are needed, aren't they? They really are. We all need yarn trips. Um, then you, that will get you a drink on the plane. It totally would get me a drink on the plane. Um, it totally, I would, I would forego the drink on the plane and have no drink on the plane to put it towards the airfare. That's what I would do. Um, that sounds, that sounds mean to trip up the, uh, yes, freaky geek, it is, it would be mean if that's what we did. And again, oh, you noticed, Kim, you noticed, did you? <laughs> oh, dear, Kim, I don't want to make the streams longer than an hour and a half because I have other things I've got to get done and that's why I kind of try to do one today, a little bit tomorrow on Facebook and I know I've been really, really dreadful at the Instagram ones because I keep meaning to go live on Instagram on Saturdays and stuff comes up but then when I do go live, no one wants to join me and no one wants to join in and so I'm like, I'm not, I haven't been prioritizing them so maybe I should prioritize them more. Um, where are we? Uh, trying to work out how I have spending cash for Bendigo after going back to New Zealand the week before. Oh, yes, that's 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 going to be an interesting one. Actually, something else, speaking of New Zealand, something else that's coming up is the Marge Craft Magic Camp in New Zealand. That's such an amazing spinner's camp. But even if you're not a spinner, it's still just heaps of fun to hang out. Like, it's, it's at Rotorua. Oh, may not be, but previous years it's been at Rotorua. Um, on the on the North Island, North Island, yeah, North Island, and it's like it's it's just so, it's so relaxing and so beautiful, um, and it's like a taxi ride from the road of our airport, and you know it's it's great. It's just and it's lovely, and there's so many good workshops. They have amazing workshops. Um, oh, you say that all the time, don't you love us anymore? I totally do love you guys. Don't worry about that, Andrea. I'm still here, aren't I? Um, you do them in the middle of my night time, but I'll tell you. But if you tell me ahead of time, I can make sure I'm presentable, and I'll do a show with you, no problem. All right, crochet o'clock. We will totally have to. Um, I will give me like I'll think about it this afternoon, and I, and you'll have a message from me by tomorrow morning. Um, to, to work out a time for the Saturday. Oh, no, I can't do this Saturday, you guys, at all. I've got, like, family stuff. Abby's school has this big open day thing and it's compulsory and 
<sighs> so no Saturday. I wish. I wish this. I wish this Saturday. But we're totally going fiberific fun zone tomorrow. Um, and that will be. I'll probably. I'll double check my calendar, but that should be at around midday my time. So about two hours later than what this one was. Unless you guys have got a specific time you would like me to do it, and then let me know. Um, uh, I'm just concerned that you might not get your view hours because you didn't stream last week. Oh, Kim, that's such a um, such selfless thought, but I'm fine. I'm good. But thank you for thinking of that. Um, luckily for me, the week before I put out an extra video, so I put out the five tips for knitting lace video, and that's helped to make sure that I keep above the hours before YouTube go and hackity hack hack away. Um, <laughs> that's true, Kim. She did miss last week and she should totally make up the time. You guys are ganging up on me and I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I think it's cool that you guys are all, um, hang like, you know, being nice to each other, but you've got to be nice to me too, right? Um, where are Bob Wilson says there's 29 watching now. That's fantastic. Thanks so much for letting me know, Claire. Um, <laughs> she's thought ahead. Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't so much think ahead. It just happened to be how it worked out. So, um, and I had, I had planned to release more videos this week and because being sick slowed everything down, that would be we weird. It's for the health of the channel, Shanta. <laughs> oh dear. That's I, you, like, it's, it's sad, but it's kind of true, but no, I, I can't, I can't do that. Um, Nerdy says beautiful. Oh, thank you, Nerdy. I appreciate that. Um, I'm spinning up some of the beautiful pixie tops from Ixshell Bunny. Um, I've got her uh, stuff scrolling across the bottom there if anyone wants to check her out. Her blends of fibre are just to die for, honestly. She has such so many interesting, beautiful blends. Um, Crochet Clock says, I'm sorry, I just missed everyone. Look, I totally understand um, Crochet Clock because I did as well. And that's that's why I did the, the weird sort of eventy thing on Facebook was because even though I couldn't be live because my, you know, everything was like, I was just like this. I was like, it, was, it would have been a good look. Um, also, I couldn't talk because my voice hurts so, well, my throat hurts so much. Um, but yeah, I had to do something. I had to touch base somehow. And that's that's what I sort of came up with. Um, if you, where is it? If you're handing out, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> oh dear. You're a terrible, you terrible freaky geek. Your, your jokes remind me of my father, my, oh, what would he be? He would be my stepdad, I think. I think that's how you would say it. He has some awesome puns like you as well. Um, do I go, yeah, be nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it would be nice. And we'll try and, like, if you guys are really into these live chats, we will try and organise more stuff. Um, Bob Wilson says, did everyone get on the great price you have for the Clover products? Oh, yeah, I haven't talked about that in a live chat. Um, so I've got a new, new distributor and they have um, Clover products and they have a lot of Clover products. My... I have another distributor and they have some Clover products and not very many and you've got to wait a really long time for them. Whereas these guys, apparently, once I put an order in, it's anywhere from 24 to 48 hours until it's posted and they're in Australia, so it's local. Um, so it's like there's no international dealings. I don't have to worry about customs and things like that. Um, so I um, have got a really big sort of special price is happening just because I know that it's a little bit of a risk because we haven't ordered from them before and it's a pre-order, I decided to give um, a bulk buy price for this first order so that when I put my first order in with these guys, it's a nice sized order. Um, and so I've got some really cool prices in there with some great discounts, but the catch is I'm not putting the order in until like the 21st. So the bulk buy discounts finish on the 20th I've got it sort of half a day to get the list together and then I'll put the order in and then I'll ship them out as soon as they arrive after that. But to be safe, I was saying that they would come in like that sort of by the 10th of June just to give it like that bit of extra time just in case. 
but um, that's the cat. That was the, that's the catch. That's why you're getting the good prices is because it's it's a bit longer on a pre-order than usual. Um, did you add the stitch markers yet? No, I have not, and I will do that today. Thank you, Kim, for the reminder. Um, pre-orders close this week, and that's right, they close on Sunday, so um, so that I can sort of start getting everything organised on Monday. Uh, I sent lots of love in a box of fantastical mystery pictures for you. Oh, thank you, Oreo. That's amazing. Um, I can't wait to see the box now. I'm like, oh, come on, box, arrive. Uh, I was going to ask, did you want me to open it on camera or is it just for me? So you can let me know that later on. Um, Bob Wilson says, thank you for the reminder of the stitch markers, Kim. Um, well, that's awesome. I love my clover. I love my clover hooks too. Um, do they do the clover? They do. Yes, absolutely. I'll get, I'm going to be adding those today onto the pre-order. So, um, yeah. Oh, Nerdy says, I bought myself glow-in-the-dark sheep earrings from Snyder Spindles. Oh my gosh, I've got one of those little mini sheeps and they are so cute. And I want a sheep spindle. But I think he only does it in the drop spindles with all the little sheep hanging on it. They're so adorable. Are you guys, so Scott Snyder, he's in the US. He's got an Etsy store. He has got the most gorgeous 3D printed glow-in-the-dark little sheep that he is doing at the moment. They're totally adorable. Um, Joss is not going to make it to caffeinated crafters. Oh, that's right. You've got your thing tonight, don't you? Um, Bob Wilson says the clover hooks are awesome. Oh, she's popped the link in. Thank you. Don't forget to right click any links, you guys, so you don't disappear. Um, Bob Wilson says count me in for those stitch markers for sure. Um, Kim says I was thinking of visiting HQ around lunchtime on Monday. That is totally fine, Kim. Totally fine. A nerdy wants the sheep drop spindle as well. I look. I don't blame you because it is totally gorgeous. It is so cute. Um, then I can talk to you about the other clover stuff. Yeah, for sure, Kim. No problems. Um, Gamer Widow says there's two of his Turkish spindles in her cart at the moment. Oh, man. You need to just pay for those and get them. I love his Turkish spindles. I've got... I've got four, I think. So I've got a big one with little T-Rexes because um, my nickname is Rexy because of my short arms. And um, I don't know if I should have told you that. No one's going to be mean, right? Um, and so I've got one with little T-Rexes. Plus I've also got one of his minis and then one of his sort of medium-sized ones and then one of the ones with the longer arms. It's got a specific name and I can't think of what it is. Glider. It's a glider. Um, I love the glider. It's awesome for um, ply on the fly, which I've been practicing. I'm not awesome at it, but I'm practicing it. Um, where are we? Uh, mine will have to be the glow in the dark, though, because things. I can't really spin right now, though. I understand that. It all looks perfectly fine, Fibrofig. What does? Died I? Just out of, I'm not quite sure. Um, I probably missed a message somewhere. Things are moving. Uh, maybe I should do a quick rip around the HQ as a live, see if we can do sneaky spoilers. <laughs> you probably could. There's some stuff in the works here. So let's not and pretend that we did. <laughs> um, you've seen my tiniest Turks. Yeah, I, I think I've seen that one for sure, for sure. I was, yeah, his Turk's so cute. Um, oh, you definitely want to see this yarn when it's finished. Don't worry, you will. Are you, are you for those of you that are new here that have come through from, um, from Claire's channel, I've got a group on Facebook called the Fibrific Fun Zone, and that's sort of where we hang out um, when we're not in live chat. So you guys can post pictures and links and stuff of what you're working on, so we can all see each other's stuff, which I really like. Um, so I'll probably post photos of this yarn um, over there when it's all done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Oreo says on camera, but I think it's your surprise. Oh, okay. Thank you, Oreo. That's good to know. Um, the Turkish you can roll. 
a ball as you spin once done as it pulls from the center. Yeah, you, you, you make like a little, what they call a turtle, because um, it's kind of got like a flat tummy and a, and a round top. And yeah, because you, you pull the little Turkish arms out, you, you can totally make the balls from it that way. Um, Kim's popped in a link to the fun zone. Don't forget to right click. Um, Andrea says she ended up frogging her Mystery Lace Club and starting again because she couldn't save it. But it was working so much better this second time round. Uh, thanks to my awesome tips for lace knitting. Oh, thank you, Andrea. I'm glad they're really helping. Um, those are all disgusting, smelly things. What are disgusting, smelly things? I, I'm, I've missed something, haven't I, Dido? I've totally missed something. Um, Jennifer's got to go. See you later, Jennifer. Have a great week. And I will certainly be trying. Um, could try Huon pine shavings that keeps the bugs away. Yeah, totally. You could try anything. Um, oh, just when you... Oh, it's freaky being naughty again. <laughs> oh dear. I, I understand now. I understand now. I missed Freaky's comment. I'm going to pause for a second of the spinning, you guys, because I desperately need a sip of my coffee. Um, you can have a little look, use. That's, that's Australian for you, isn't it? Um, just let me just have a little drink here. We've been going for an hour, you guys. This does not feel like an hour. It really doesn't. Um, is anyone else having problems with dry, rough hands because of the cold? Um, I'm not, only because I've been using um, stuff on my hands so that I don't, because otherwise I would, for sure. Mm. Uh, nerdy, it's um, coming on to winter in Australia. So it's it's you know it's getting it's getting colder. It's not super cold yet, but the it's getting quite dry. Um, so you need to stay longer. <laughs> oh gosh, well I am staying a bit longer. We go for an hour and a half, not an hour. Um, yeah, see, I'm that's the same. That's what I use. Kim is the Body Shop Hemp Hand Cream. Um, but yeah, and and at night I use a bit of rosehip oil when I'm not going to be touching anything. I'll pop some rosehip oil on my hands. Um, hey Vanessa, how are you going? Uh, yeah, Max has a draw. Max is Vanessa's little baby boy. For anyone who doesn't know, um, yeah, drool rashes are hard because, like, baby drool is quite acidic. So maybe some sort of barrier cream would be helpful that the reason I really like that hemp hand cream is because um, <laughs> it is because it doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy so you can continue spinning or working or whatever it is that you're doing um, Game of Riddles is written I'm surprised Chantelle isn't actually in Melbourne at the moment every time she's been down it's been freezing is it actually freezing in Melbourne at the moment is it I've got I've got um, trips planned for Melbourne. I'll be doing VidCon at the end of um, August, and then I've got I've got Bendigo in July. So that's not Melbourne per se, but it's Victoria. It's the same state. Um, but yeah, so I've got some trips coming up, but I'm sure they'll be lovely and cold anyway. So I'm just going to pop this up here. So, so you guys. Um, for those of you that don't know, I send out a mystery lace club each month. Um, it gets delivered to your door and it's a subscription that you can opt in and out from month to month. You don't have to commit for longer than one month. Um, the, the, we've got a rolling cutoff and the, the cutoff is on the 20th of the month. So we're getting ready to um, work out numbers for the June, um, the June Mystery Lace Club, which I'm really excited about. I've got another really good, I mean, all the designers have been awesome, but this one I'm really excited about. Um, and so um, it's gonna be heaps of fun. So if you're not already a member of the Mystery Lace Club, if you wanna pop over to fibrific.com.au and have a look and see if it's something you'd be interested in. Um, it ships worldwide and so um, the June club will ship out on the 20th of June and that's what you'd be signing up for if you sign up for at the moment. The 
I, I have the cutoff a month beforehand so that I can specifically dye yarn for those people. So I know that, okay, I've got, you know, say 20 or 30 people that I need to dye for and I can make sure that I've got, um, they are, um, the colorways that I make for the yarn club are exclusive for six months. So those of you that saw the rainbow gradient that I did for this, this month just gone, um, that is exclusive to the Mystery Lace Club members for a little while. So that won't be available to anybody else for some time. Um, and I've got a couple of new ones coming. So the one that ships out on Monday, that's looking really cute. Um, oh, so who's saying, oh, Jenny's saying night night. Jenny, thank you so much for joining for so long on your terrible, terrible time zone. I really appreciate you being in the, in the chat. Um, where are we? Kim says, spoiler thread with pics of the last two clubs. Oh, absolutely. Kim's just popped in a link um, onto our Ravelry group that if you scroll down, you'll see like these gray boxes that say spoiler. And if you click those, it opens up all the photos that Kim's been posting each month um, for the spoiler pics for us so that we can have a look. Um, I think there's the last two months and this week, Kim will be putting up the next month. But the cutoff is sun Sunday my time, so the 20th. Um, so yeah, I asked my kids to bring my Kindle paperweight and they brought my chow goose set, my yarn with a simple lace project. <laughs> oh dear. Um, that's, that's kind of funny. Um, Rebecca has bought a new Portuguese knitting pin. Oh, Rebecca, we might need photos of that over in the Fibrific Fun Zone so we can check that out. That would be cool. Um, Oops, I've just got a, a bit here that's feeling a little bit coarser than the rest. So I've just got to thin it out. Uh, where are we? So yeah, oh, hang on. I snapped off. I was watching the chat rather than focusing on the spinning. So just let me focus on the spinning for a second here while I rejoin the yarn. Where are we at in the chat? Yeah, that rainbow yarn for the last club was a lot of work, um, but totally worth it. I was so happy with how it came out. Um, there is a one of the ladies who gets the club has actually already finished it and started posting pics of, of the actual finished rainbow shawl. So that's really ex exciting, exciting, exciting English word, Chantel, English words. Um, oh, plus Rebecca also got some DVDs for Portuguese knitting. Um, I've been looking at the Portuguese knitting class over on Craftsy. I've got a, um, um, I've got Craftsy Unlimited, so I tend to just have the classes sort of rolling all the time. Um, just because I'm, I'm a sponge and I don't know how to do everything, but I want to learn how to do everything one day. And so I sort of just sometimes we just have videos running where I'm not actually sitting down trying to learn it, but I'm sort of listening to it and following along the new tech. Cause it's like every, every technique has got its own terminology. So it's like you have to learn a new language every time. Um, so yeah. Nerdy says, I think someday it would be cool if you did a yarn club for other yarn weights. Nerdy, um, this lace club is all about knitting lace. It's not actually about knitting lace weight. So um, not all of them will be fine yarns. So yeah, it's, um, it's, yeah, it's not actually about knitting the lace weight yarn. Although in saying that the first few clubs have been lace weight yarn, um, but yeah. I see the word worsted and I'm thinking of a sausage. I don't, I don't understand that one freaky. I'm not sure. Um, Kim says, I think that the issue with the heavier weights is you need more yarn to make things because you don't get, I mean, that is totally an issue, Kim, for sure. And, you know, at the end of the day, I have to make it this club so that it can continue to run. And I don't basically run my business into the ground. Um, but yeah, it's, that's, that's an issue in itself. Cause I, I find patterns sometimes and I'm like, oh my gosh, that would be perfect for the lace club. I've got fluff on the ground. I've missed a bit of fluff. Um, and, um, but then I realized, okay, that's going to need 800 grams of eight ply. And 
I'm like, okay, all right, maybe not for the Lace Club. So, yeah. Oh, Wurst, German sausage of Wurst. Um, W-U-R-S-T, Wurst sausage, like Blattwurst. Um, sorry, yes, Wurst, same thing, but yeah. Um, uh, the term Wurst, it comes from someplace in England. I don't know where the term worst it might literally be called worsted. <laughs> Your drink is going to be stone cold. Yeah, look, it's not the hottest coffee in the world. <laughs> it's not stone cold though. It's more lukewarm. <laughs> um, Kim says, or else we'd be making lots of small things like wristlets and headbands. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, I want to make it. I'm so fussy when I'm picking the patterns for the Mystery Lace Club. Um, because I want to make it something that it would be, um, like, I want to feel like when you open your box, it's exciting and it's, you know, it's, I don't know, it's, I, I, I hate for someone to open their box and be disappointed. Like, is this it? Is this how much yarn I got? And I would hate that. That would, that for me is other than someone not getting their box that they ordered, that would be the worst thing. You need a microwave in your room. Oh gosh, no, daughter. I don't microwave coffee. I'd rather drink stone cold coffee than, than microwave it. Um, we need to buy you an insulated coffee cup so you can have coffee for the 90 minutes. Do you know what, Kim? I've actually got one and I should probably bring it and use it because you're right. Um, I've also got a tea thermos so I could totally make tea. Um, Crochet Clock says also because so many boxes have patterns for things like fingerless gloves. Yeah. And like I know that that like you look at the, the last couple of things and they've all been shawls and you're like, oh, how many shawls does a person need? But they're all really different. And that's what I've tried to really do is make sure that they're a different construction, a different kind of yarn is needed, different skills are needed. Um, so, yeah. Where is my T2? My T2 is at home. It, that's my thermos. My T2 is my tea thermos. Um, uh, Andrea says, I was so excited when I opened my box for the first time. Andrea, the look on your face. I'm so glad that you opened it in the room that I was just blown. Like, it was exciting for me to watch your reaction. So, uh, Kim says, yes, Andrea, we have photos. We totally do have photos of that. That's so funny. Um, but Andrea said it, it didn't sound naughty it didn't no it's fine um, nothing wrong with the microwave oh no 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 daughter I use microwaves all the time for other stuff but I'm fun I don't I don't like to microwave water it ends up tasting funny in my mouth so I mark I like I microwave food and I've got no issues with the actual microwaves just microwaving coffee it doesn't taste right I'd rather drink it cold <laughs> um, well, the pink wrapped one is hot. Oh, is that the, the, the pink box, um, the, the pink mystery lace kit? So uh, that's the one with the rainbow, um, the rainbow gradient that I did for them. You know, it, no, no, it's totally fine because some people really are funny about microwaves in that re in that regard. I'm not one of those people. I'm just a coffee snob, basically. And I got given by Pam. She's not in the chat today, but Pam came in and gave me this amazing plunger for one. And it's it's in a it, it's like I'm not quite sure. I have to read up on how to use it a bit because it does make a beautiful plunger coffee, but it's also supposed to be like a travel coffee mug. But I like milk in my coffee. And so the thought of pouring the milk in when the grinds are still in the bottom, I feel weird about that. Is that something I shouldn't feel weird about? Because I totally feel weird about that. Um, so, and it's in like, it's in this beautiful little clear insulated cup thing where you can like literally plunge it down. And, and she gave me some of the most beautiful locally made coffee, which I've never had before. And so, yeah, so it's really, really exciting. I better get back to spinning again. I'm just going to have a quick sip of water. The Nerdy Stitcher says, yeah, the rainbow cake, dang. Yeah, the rainbow cake is pretty special. Um, Oreo, oh my gosh, you guys. That's for a coffee warmer to sit your cup on. Oh my gosh, that is um, 
unbelievable. Thank you so much. You guys have been amazing with the super chats today. That's unbelievable. Wow. Thank you. Um, you guys are just so generous. I really, I really appreciate it a lot. I really do. Thank you, Oreo. And to the others that have given super chats today as well. You guys are just so generous. So crochet a clock and oh my gosh, there was someone earlier whose name I'm like can picture it and it was Oh, I feel terrible now. I'm gonna I'll have to message you guys personally. But thank you so much, all of you, for your amazing super chats today. It's been it's um like I'm not gonna lie to you, but right now the super chats that you've put in today is actually more than I would make off YouTube in an entire month. I'm trying not to cry, you guys. Don't be, don't be mean. I'm gonna sit over here and spin. <laughs> but yeah, that's unbelievable. Thank you so much. Um, oops, I've got to get it over here, otherwise it makes noise. Um, I don't think you can actually super chat from PayPal, Daigo. I think you have to use a credit card. Um, I don't think it's connected to PayPal, or at least it's not in Australia. I'm not sure about other countries. Um, gamer, do you put the leaves back in the plant once you're done? With oh, freaky. I've got to learn to just not read your messages out, out loud until I know what they are, don't I? Andrea says it's because we love you. Thank you, Andrea. Um, oh, yeah, Kim's saying don't, you can't pay with PayPal. You have to put in your credit card details. Yeah. I actually, um, I actually just have like one of my, I have a card that, that is a, it's not like my full credit card. It's just got a little bit on it. And that's the one I use so that if anything scary happened, but I've never had any, I've never heard of anyone having anything happen through their YouTube. Um, but yeah, Nerdy says, I love my scarf fold up do hickey. Um, Super chat goes through Google Play because YouTube is owned by Google. That's right. Um, but yeah, you've got to use a credit card for it. Um, at least that one was just silly. Yeah, that's true. That's totally true, Freaky. At least it was silly. Um, I wonder if that's because you're on an iPad. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I've not seen a do you know, just... I remember years and years ago when I was a kid, we had like, you know how you get junk mail delivered? We had this local real estate deliver these round coaster shapes and it was, um, and on it print, it had printed, you know, like on one side it had like all the real estate details, normal stuff, advertising. But on the other side it had, this is a round to it, T-U-I-T. Um, and so you can keep this, for, because now you've got your round to it. You don't have to wait till you get around to it to get the jobs done that you want had to wait for. And I was, I've never forgotten that. I've just thought it was so cool. I don't know what made me think about that. I think that was freaky geek. Oh, talking about doohickeys. I was thinking doohickeys and round to it. So that's right. Um, Nerdy, yeah, it's totally a tour from Nancy's Knickknacks. Um, they've got some amazing stuff. I've actually got a new shipment of Nancy's Knickknacks stuff on their way. Um, so many cool things. I'm tossing up whether to do an unboxing or whether to do some individual videos on some of the stuff. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's because I've got a few new things coming in the box. So, I'm pretty excited about that. There's a couple of things that I've been hanging out to get. And then I had to put it in an order and I was like, man, I'm just going to get those too. Um, Daigo doesn't have a credit card. Oh, that's such a shame, Daigo. I totally understand, though. It's not always convenient to have one. Um, that's, yes. So, you guys, with the super chats, I really do appreciate, like, you popping them in. And, and honestly, I'm not asking for more. I'm just saying thank you for those that are, that are already here. That's just, it's unbelievable. Um... Oh, Nerdy Stitches just had some bad news. I'm sorry, Nerdy. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. That's terrible news.
I don't really know where to go from that. It's one of those things. Um, Freaky Geek says, Daigo, next time you visit your bank, ask them if you can use your debit card online. That's what I do. I've got a, um, it's a MasterCard debit card. So it's just connected to my normal account, but it means I can use it online. Um, you know, if I super chat 50, it's pink. Um, no, I had no idea. I didn't even know 10 was, was orange. Uh, sorry, it was, was, it's mustardy color, I should say. Um, that's insane. Where are you going to find that information out, Kim? I know that like the, the values make it sit at the top for different lengths of time. And I know that different values have got different colors, but I don't think I've ever seen the pink. Kim, just a hang on. I've just got to check my screen. That's a bit lumpy there. I don't know why my bobbin won't let me fill all the way to the end there. That's been quite painful. Um, Sally says hers is a debit card as well. Andrea says, Can I change cables when I'm knitting? Yes, you totally can. Andrea, what you do is you pop your tip onto the new cable and pop an end connect like an end. Um, end stopper on so your stitches don't come off treat it like two really long circulars and knit from one onto the other and then when your stitches are moved over take the other tip off and move it to your new cable um kim says "Ooh, if i super chat 200 it stays for two hours oh my gosh i would have to keep chatting because i would not in all good conscience be able to stop the chat with that sitting there that you can't do that. Don't do that. Like, I'm not kidding. Don't do that. Um, and, and if you, and if what you're knitting, Andrea, if what you're knitting is not super, um, not super long, like if you're not worried about it popping off the ends, you don't actually need your end stoppers. Um, but if you're worried about it popping off the end, you totally need to do, um, to, to pop your cables on. Um, <laughs> oh dear maybe I should pause my mystery lace for a few months so I can afford 200 so you have to go for two hours because it would be rude for you to cut me off oh my god Kim that's terrible don't do that um, Bob Wilson says you need to make a video about that tip so it could so I can save it to my video list um, Freaky Geek's got a demanding kitten needing attention. Um, yeah, you need to sort that out because they will just get louder and louder and louder. Um, for sure. Uh, yeah, I've got I've, I think I've got a a bit of a tips and tricks video on how to use accessories for Nancy's knickknacks. I'm not sure if that's in there. I've got a few in there. Um, Kim says, I use a cable connector and put them to the end, undo the tip, and then cable connect the new cable, and then push the stitches over the cable. Yeah, that would work as well, but then you've got to try and get all your stitches over a cable connector without them snagging. I just tend to knit from one to the next, like from one row to the next. That's what I tend to do. Um, yeah. But yeah, there's lots of different ways to do it. Lots and lots of different ways to do it. Um because it's that's one of the things I love about interchangeables is all the options that you have just for working with the actual different tips. Oh, speaking of interchangeables, you guys, I'll be putting up a pre-order for the Chow Goo Shorties by the end of this week. Um, for those of you that don't know what they are, is they are an interchangeable set that make um, cable tips cables and tips up to nine inches long so they're, they're like you know your nine inch circulars that you use for your socks and things like that these ones um have got like two inch tips and three inch tips and you can connect them with these short tack with these short cables and you end up with a circular that's either eight inches if you use a two and a three and the cable or nine inches if you two, use two threes and a cable and they've got a few different sizes i'll get all the information out there um unfortunately I um, was being very patient and not badgering Chow Gu, which to my detriment has meant I actually missed an email that they didn't realize I'd missed, 
which means I have missed out on ordering in the first batch. It's totally sold out. So my first batch of shorties won't be available till sort of June, mid-June, like at mid-June at the latest. I'll be shipping them to me in early June um, and they ship very quickly, but yeah, they won't be in straight away because I missed an email and I should have harassed them. Well, I normally do. And I thought, no, 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 don't do that this time, Chantel. They'll send you stuff. They send you stuff when you need to find out. Um, they use the mini cables though, not the ones that come with the regular kits. I have no idea actually, Kim. I need to look into it a little bit more um, to find out which actual cables they use. But the actual cable itself is not a standard length cable that's available at all. It's not the 20 centimeter cable. It's much, much shorter. Um, so I have to have a little look into it to work it out, but I'm not sure if it's the mini cable thickness. I think it might be a small cable thickness, but I'm, I'm not 100% certain. I'll definitely look into it and find out for you. Um, Kim says we can we can set up beforehand and everyone can take turns to super chat. Um, to ext oh, you troublemaker, Kim. You are a total troublemaker. <laughs> oh wow that's 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 up here for thinking is all I can say so I've just realized the whole time my hand's been totally out of the shot and I'm at this such a pretty purple section um you guys that's taught you're torturing me now that's just like how to make Chantel live stream longer <laughs> um I think I saw somewhere that it was a mini connector and cable. I'll have to have a look, Kim. I'm not, I'm not 100% certain. I did end up getting all the information yesterday afternoon, but I have to confess, I was a bit like, I can't believe I missed out on the first order. I never miss out on the first order. And I was all a bit dejected. So I didn't actually read through all the information. I kind of got to the point where you can't order any of the first batch because it's sold out. And I just went, what? What? No. No. But yeah, so... um. Yeah, I'll go through it and I'll find out a lot more information and I'll put everything that I find out up on the website so that we can all know the information. Um, Freaky Geek says, all I see is white till the bobbin, then it's purple. Oh, okay, so it's just because, like, it's actually purple, but because it's going against the floor and contrasting, it's camera magic, camera magic, but it's actually purple. See the purpley bits? Um, isn't that the idea? I mean, we all just lovely. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Um, <laughs> Sally says you love it. Look, I, 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 I think it's cool, but I, I don't expect it. it. Does that make sense? Like, I don't. Anyway, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go down that road because I get in trouble from you guys every time I go down that road. Um, got to go see you Saturday. Let me know what time your flight gets in. Jackie, you're just, you're such a total enabler. Total enabler. Sorry, what I did there was there was a little burr thingy. Like, can you see that? Little bit. I, it's, I threw it away. Um, total enabler. But have a great day at work, Jackie, and I'll see you next time. Um, where is it? Could you... Um, could be how the light hits the thread. Yeah, absolutely freaky. It's totally how the light's hitting the thread. You're right. Um, um, whoever is going, take care. Oh yeah, uh, Jackie's going. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's totally the light. And it's just because this is quite, it's got a bit of, um, it's got angora and it's got tensile in it so the light does bounce off it and it does shimmer a little bit it's got a beautiful shimmer to it um i wonder if i hold this up can you see the shimmer can you see that it's just got this lovely little it's got such a nice shine honestly and yeah so the light does bounce off it for sure um leone's off as well bye leone have a great weekend um Kim says, I have my mini Kit Kats. <laughs> so yeah, um, but yeah, it's, 
it totally like light changes it's like weaving like um when you weave it's all about the light bouncing and that's why when you're weaving it's good to have yarn plied in opposite directions one for the warp one for the weft so the light bounces more um i mean obviously that depends on what you're making and how you want it but yeah i like to have the light bounce around as much as possible so i try to do that um i also like i know this sounds bizarre and it's probably totally untrue but I actually prefer when I'm, I spin differently for when I, like if I'm planning a project and I know I'm going to crochet it, I actually spin it differently. Um, because I found that my crochet, when I was crocheting, it was undoing the twist in the yarn and it bugged me a little bit. And so I found that when I applied, spun and plied the opposite way, it didn't happen. And so because I already do that a bit, um, so I Z twist and S twist, depending on what I'm going to use the yarn for. And like seriously sometimes I don't even do it I'll like have it marked in the box um, as to whether it's Z or S twisted and then still use it for the other thing it doesn't matter um, but I find that you know when I'm weaving I like to have one of each um, S twist is it that's right Kim um, you guys talking about chocolate I've got no chocolate actually I do I've got two big bags of chocolate but they're not for me they're for the mystery lace club members so I can't eat them because I've only got just enough because I may have eaten one yesterday. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm trying to be good and not eat the chocolates. So thanks for the torturing of the, the chocolatings, you guys. Um, see me throwing turns around? I see you throwing them turns around, Kim. I see it. You're doing great. You're doing great throwing the turns around. So my goal for today is to finish off this little piece of fluff in my hand which is going to come undone which i need to join back on um i really want to get this bag done tonight so it's going to be my like when i've got to just watch stuff project i'm really enjoying this crochet cross stitch bag um i've i've written down my my plan for my um um the colors like you remember how at the start I was talking about how I used the stripe generator from biscuits and jam um, so I've written down those so that I don't have to I also screenshotted it because what happens is that if you refresh it or go back in you get different you get different makeups each time and so I had to so I screenshotted the one I like and wrote it down um, make sure you oh, Kim, uh, yeah thumbs up you guys um, Kim says we can play back in slow-mo and try to see spoilers God, terrible, totally terrible. Um, you should pan the room. I'm not panning the room. Like, even if I pan this room, it's not going to spoil anything because everything is out there. It's not in here. Um, in here, it's just untidy. It's not. It's not out here. Um, I'm sorry, nerdy. You've had very bad news and you just need to allow the grieving process to happen. You don't need to stop crying. You don't need to. It's just... You you just have to, like, do whatever it is that you do to deal with those things. Everyone has a different way to deal with it. You don't have to stop crying. Um, Bob Wilson says, The cross stitch is made up of two double crochets and it's how you hang on a second how you work the crochet stitch yes that's right um it's like seriously go and watch the video that bob wilson put up before um she's got a pattern up and it's not hard at all like if you can if you can um where are you if you can double crochet or treble if you're in australia um then you can totally do the cross this particular bag it's so easy um where are we going if you check out the bob wilson one two three tutorials bag you can see how the cross stitch yeah absolutely big and thank you bob wilson big group hub for nerdy she's just had a bad very very bad day um kim says the stitch is called cross stitch aka cross stitch it's easy peasy it is easy peasy absolutely like i did this 
while watching an episode of a TV show. So once you get like the first, because it's got a foundation, um, I, I mean, it's an optional thing, but it's got the foundation treble um, start. There's a, there's a proper word for that. I can't remember what it is. And then you go into the cross stitches afterwards. And I'm just, and like, I'm changing colors, but you totally don't have to because um, Bob Wilson didn't. She used a beautiful um, gradient. Um, so yeah, not cross stitch over the top of your crochet. No, that's right, that's different. Um, Freaky Geek says she's got the video waiting to be watched. That's excellent, thank you Freaky Geek. Oh wow, this it's just so sad, nerdy. I don't I don't really know what else to say. Um, I'm not very good with this sort of stuff. I'm one of those people that just keeps going. I I I have to other because if I stop, I stop for a long time. So I just keep plodding through life every day. Um, yeah. Bob Wilson says, oh, she used um, um, an ombre red heart yarn. That's right. And then a, a solid for around the edging. Um, not over the top. I haven't got time for that. No. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. All right, you guys. On that note, I'm going to end the stream today. Um, it's 11.32, so we have gone slightly over. I'm sorry about that. Um, not that you guys care, you want me to go indefinitely and to stay live all the time, all the time, um, which I cannot do because I'm a human person with, you know, I have to move to other rooms and do things. So um, I will see you all um, over in the Fibrific Fun Zone afterwards. Those of you coming to Caffeinated Crafters, I'll see you tonight. And, um, and nerdy big hugs from me yeah i will catch you all next week or, or tomorrow in the fiberific fun zone bye <laughs>